Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to take a moment and discuss the application of boundary events using our Trisotech modeling tool. One of my favorite examples to explain boundary events is our social media process. If you take a second and think about the steps in managing your own social media profile, it's quite fascinating. I mean, in the beginning, it was pretty basic. We would review social media pages, post comments, add friends, and so forth. So ask yourself, what changed? Well, one thing was the inclusion of news feeds, ads, and games. So here I'll demonstrate our happy day path for reviewing our social media pages and commenting on pages. But then I'll take it a step further and demonstrate how to apply a boundary event to our social media process. In the first example, I will place a signal boundary event on our first activity, indicating that while we're reviewing a social media page, a news feed alert triggers an exception to our process. Basically, when we see the news feed alert, an exception in our process occurs and we go and review the news article. To depict this exception in our process, we use a boundary event in which an exception flow leads to another activity. In this case, review news article. We use the signal event because in the beginning, these ads don't have a specific target. It's just a general notification. Had the target been directed towards me, I would have used a message event. But since it's more of a general notification, signal event uh, applies best here. So let's add another exception to our process. So let's say while we're reviewing our news article, we receive a car ad alert. This time we can place a boundary event on the activity review news article to create another exception flow. The difference here is we'll use a non-interrupting boundary event to illustrate that we do not want to cancel the activity review news article. Again, I'm going to use a signal event to indicate that this is a general notification of a, of a, of a car ad. The key is to have it non-interrupting because we do not want this activity to be canceled. What I love about using Trisotech is that we can use the process animation feature to demonstrate the difference between interrupting and non-interrupting boundary events. So let's take a moment now that we have our model finished to demonstrate the differences between interrupting and non-interrupting boundary events. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our ha happy day process. As I click, what you're seeing is the token flow through the process in this process animation. And so for our happy day process, we review the page, comment on it, and our process is done. But let's examine another instantiation in which, while reviewing our social media page, we receive a newsfeed alert and how that triggers an exception to our process. We can also demonstrate how when we get a car alert, how the non-interrupting boundary event does not cancel our review news um, article. We can still complete this activity. We also have a new activity review car ad in which we're able to complete. Once we do that, we are able to re return to review news article and we can complete it. Interested in learning more about BPMN? Well, leave a comment below and tell us what notation you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.